Hey guys, uh, almost done with this Hellraiser franchise review, thank god. I'm starting to get really Hellraisered out. Uh, I actually had to take like a two day break just to kind of get, uh, just to kind of get refreshed or I can finish these up because I don't want to get totally burnt out by the time I get to the brand new sequel. The one I haven't seen, you know what I mean? Because that would be kind of a shame because it is one of my favorite franchises, but after so many, uh, yeah, after so many, it does get tiring, and that's only because Hellraiser franchise takes itself insanely seriously. I mean, it's not like Freddy or Jason, where they get just goofier and they get more fun, you know what I mean? And uh, Halloween actually has like a bunch of different variations too, so it makes that one more enjoyable too, where Hellraiser, each sequel is just dead serious, you know what I mean? And they get lamer and lamer, kind of, but... They just keep being really serious, and it does get kind of tiring, but the um, <clears throat> last one I'm reviewing here is uh, uh, Hell World, and it actually starts off really cool. It uh, starts off, it's kind of like breaking the fourth wall. Hellraiser is a real pinhead. All these characters are aware of pinhead. They're aware of Hellraiser. It is a movie franchise, and this movie um and they're playing like an rpg or i don't know what kind of game it is it's it looks boring actually in the movie but uh supposedly they're obsessed with it and all that and one of their friends dies playing it um and basically they're all invited to this hellraiser party uh hosted by lance henriksen and so they all go and then pinhead shows up and he's slashing them all and uh there's kind of like a twist ending at the end, or there, well, not kind of, there is a twist ending at the end that does kind of bring it all together, um, but I really enjoy the first, I'd say, half hour of this. I do like the whole uh, fourth wall referencing Hellraiser and all that. I think that's really cool, kind of fresh. Um, I like the whole house. I like the Hellraiser decor and stuff they got in this house. I enjoy seeing Lance Henriksen, of course. Uh, and it actually has Henry Cavill, a young Henry Cavill, the guy who plays Superman. And there's also, like, one of the guys, he's not part of the group, but he is part of the group of friends, but he shows up by himself. He's was actually in both seasons of a uh, Slasher, that show on Netflix. And so I thought that was pretty cool. I never noticed it before because I never saw Slasher, but it was cool having watched it. I mean, like, wow, he was young there. So that was pretty cool. But uh, makeup effects for Pinhead look okay. I think it's what, probably the weakest out of the whole franchise. Uh, this is, he's a full-fledged slasher in this. Uh, but I find this movie really underwhelming towards the last 45, 50 minutes. It just, uh, it just gets, it wears really thin. Uh, it's not as cool as the first half hour. And the only reason I think I like the first half hour is because it's kind of nostalgic just seeing the hair designs, the clothing choices and all that it just it screams early 2000s this came out in 2005 actually but the way they dress and the way they look you would have thought this was 99 2000 and uh i mean by that they look like they just came out of like an insane clown posse and slipknot music video and stuff like that and there, it's just that whole kind of scene like the late 90s rave looking scene and all that um <clears throat> If you're from that time, you know exactly what I'm talking about, you know. But um, pretty much like everything looked like it was straight up like a Slipknot video or uh, some 41 video and all that. It was just it was cool, nostalgic in that way. But other than that, the movie is just kind of boring. Uh, I, have, I I probably won't watch it again, probably until I watch all these again if a brand new sequel comes out. But it's not one I'm just gonna pop in just for whatever, you know. And uh, that's the thing, like the two above, the, the top two, Inferno and Bloodline, I'll watch again, gladly love them. But Hellseeker and Hellworld and Debtor are, are really whatever to me. Um, you know, effects are okay. I mean, Blu-ray transfer is pretty awful. I think it may be the worst out of all four, surprisingly. Uh, a lot of crushing in the blacks, just a lot of green, just does not look good. They really should have put these on two discs at least, you know what I mean? I mean, preferably their own discs, but realistically, they should have been on two discs. Um, I gotta say, I'm glad I'm, I'm, I'm done with these uh, sequels here. I mean, I'm gonna start uh, Hellraiser Revelations now, and I, 
I don't want to give away my opinions on it on this video, but that video will probably actually come later today because uh, I'm going to start it now. And uh, I'm going to watch Hellraiser Judgment tonight, which I'm really excited for. Uh, and then I'll be done with the horror for uh, Hellraiser franchise. And just an upcoming on what's on the channel tomorrow, I'm actually going to Grindhouse video up in Tampa, which is this, it's a horror lover's dream. I've, I've showcased them on my channel before, stuff I've gotten from there, but uh, they have like a mail order site too and all that, but they're, they're really badass and I plan on dropping some good money there. So I'll do a haul video, an update video of everything I got there and I'll post that tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. So be should be some really good stuff in that pile. I mean, I know I plan on getting the Itchy the Killer, uh, Wogo, Blu-ray. I mean, I plan on blowing like 500 bucks there. So I plan on getting a decent amount of stuff. I know I really want to get the Indicator uh, Blu-ray release of 10 Rillington Place. That movie looks really cool. Um, and I know I want to get the Leatherface Warner Archive Blu-ray and uh, The Barn in 1031. And those are the only must-haves, and uh, for the rest of the money, I'm just going to do a bunch of blind buys. I'm just going to blind buy a bunch of shit, so stay tuned for that. But anyways, guys, peace.